Hello students, today we are going to learn new point that is a trigonometric ratios of complementary angles. Okay, so we know that what is mean by complementary angles? If sum of two angles that is 90 degree, so we can say that that two angles are complementary angles. Okay, so here I am writing definition of complementary angles sum of two angles if sum of two angles is 90 degree then that two angles are called as complementary angle okay so we know that this definition now we have to find trigonometric ratios of complementary angles okay so first i am writing theorem here okay so everyone understand this complementary angles now i am writing theorem to find trigonometric ratios of complementary angles okay so theorem is like this way if theta is acute angle then sin 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta or cos 90 minus theta is equal to sin theta similarly tan 90 minus theta is equal to cot theta cot 90 minus theta is equal to tan theta and last one is sec 90 minus theta that is a cosec theta and cosec 90 minus theta that is equal to sec theta okay now one thing is there if theta is acute angle then complementary of angle theta is a 90 minus theta okay if theta is angle then complementary of that angle is a 90 minus theta because theta and 90 minus theta sum is 90 degree so if theta is angle then complementary of this angle is a 90 minus theta okay now for this we have to consider a right triangle so triangle o m p this is a right triangle right angle at m and angle p is a theta okay so if angle p is a theta by angle sum property of triangle this angle is a 90 minus theta okay so angle o we can write here 90 minus theta okay now for this theta now we have to prove this so here for this theta how we write trigonometric ratios sin theta is equal to om divided by op okay opposite side divided by hypotenuse cos theta that is equal to adjacent side pm divided by hypotenuse so pm by op then tan theta that is a om by pm okay similarly this cosec theta op by om sec theta op by pm and cot theta that is a pm by om okay now this is for theta okay for theta we write here six trigonometric ratios okay now if we consider this angle so for 90 minus theta if we write this trigonometric ratios means sin 90 minus theta so sin 90 minus theta so this angle is 90 minus theta so sin 90 minus theta how we write opposite side of this angle is a pm so pm divided by hypotenuse is a op so pm divided by op so sin 90 minus theta is a pm by op 
similarly cos 90 minus theta so for this angle adjacent side is om so om divided by op then tan 90 minus theta that is pm divided by om okay because oppos opposite side is this pm and adjacent side is om so pm divided by om okay so here cosec 90 minus theta that is a reciprocal of sine op by pm sec 90 minus theta that is op by om and tan 90 minus theta that is a om by pm sorry cot cot 90 minus theta is a om by pm okay now if you observe this here sin theta is a om by op and here cos 90 minus theta is a om by op so we will get from this sin theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta okay or sin 90 minus theta here pm by op cos theta is a pm by op okay so from this ratios we have sin 90 minus theta so here i am writing from these ratios we have sin 90 minus theta okay you can observe here sin 90 minus theta pm by op and here cos theta is a pm by op so sin 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta okay similarly cos 90 minus theta om by op sin theta is equal to om by op so cos 90 minus theta we can write is equal to sin theta okay next tan 90 minus theta pm by om and cot theta pm by om so we can write tan 90 minus theta is equal to cot theta again cot 90 minus theta om by pm and tan theta om by pm so cot 90 minus theta that is equal to tan theta and last one is cosec 90 minus theta op by pm and here sec theta is op by pm so we can write cosec 90 minus theta is equal to sec theta and last one sec 90 minus theta is op by om and cosec theta is equal to op by m so these two equal so sec 90 minus theta is equal to cosec theta okay so here we have this relation sin 90 minus theta cos theta cos 90 minus theta sin theta okay similarly tan and sec okay now we will solve example based on this okay now we will solve examples here i am keeping this value sin 90 minus theta cos theta cos 90 minus theta is equal to sin theta okay so by using this we have to solve example first one is evaluate first question is evaluate the following cos 37 degree upon sin 53 degree okay now here we know that this 37 degree and 53 degree are complementary angles okay so if we have to find value of this ratio either change cos 37 degree or sin 53 degree okay so if i am changing this cos 37 degree so cos now here 37 degree we can write 90 minus 53 degree okay we know that 90 minus 53 we will get 37 so this 37 we have to write like this way 90 minus 53 degree upon sin 53 degree as it is okay so cos 90 minus theta so cos 90 minus theta we have this cos 90 minus theta is equal to sin theta so this value we can write sin 53 degree divided by sin 53 degree so this will get cancelled answer is 1 okay so if this type of example is there change either this numerator or denominator okay so cos 37 degree upon sin 53 degree here you can change denominator also 
means sin 53 now this 53 we can write 90 minus 37 okay and sin 90 minus theta cos theta so cos 37 and this cos 37 will get cancelled we will get value is a 1 okay or this way okay second one cosec 25 degree minus sec 65 degree okay first confirm that these two are complementary angles 25 degree and 65 degree because sum of these two angle is a 90 degree okay so change either this one or this one okay so if i am writing cosec 25 degree 90 minus 65 okay 90 degree minus 65 degree this 25 i am writing like this way 90 degree minus 65 degree minus sec 65 degree okay now cosec 90 minus theta cosec 90 minus theta sec theta so this cosec 90 minus theta we can write sec 65 degree here theta is a 65 degree so cosec 90 minus 65 that is a sec 65 and minus sec 65 degree as it is so sec 65 degree minus sec 65 degree answer is a zero okay so change one of the two this one okay either change this or this okay then next one cos square 13 degree minus sin square 77 degree okay if it is a square then also this is applicable okay so cos square 13 degree now 13 and 77 are complementary angles so i am changing this one cos square 13 degree we can write 90 minus 77 minus sin square 77 degree as it is okay now cos square 90 minus theta sin square theta that is a sin square 77 minus sin square 77 as it is is equal to 0 okay so now we will take more examples okay next one is same question evaluate the following and next one cos 80 divided by sin 10 degree plus cos 59 degree into cosec 31 degree okay now again same here fraction it is so either change this cos 80 or sin 10 okay so here i am changing cos 80 degree so cos 80 degree we can write 90 minus 10 degree okay 90 degree minus 10 degree divided by sin 10 degree as it is plus again cos 59 degree and cosec 31 degree change either cos 59 degree or cosec 31 degree okay so here i am writing cos 59 degree that is a 90 minus 31 degree okay and into cosec 31 degree keep as it is okay next step cos 90 minus theta that is a sin theta so sin 10 degree upon this sin 10 degree as it is plus cos 90 minus theta cos 90 minus theta that is a sin theta so sin 31 degree into cosec 31 degree okay now here sin 10 divided by sin 10 this answer is a 1 plus sin 31 degree into cosec 31 degree so we know that sin and cosec are reciprocal of each other so sin 31 degree into cosec 31 degree we can write 1 upon sin 31 degree okay so this will get cancelled so what is it remain 1 plus this one that is equal to 2 okay similarly second one 2 tan 53 degree upon cot 37 degree minus cot 80 degree upon tan 10 degree okay so again 2 into tan 53 degree so 2 as it is tan 53 we can write 90 minus 37 degree okay upon this cot 37 degree as it is minus cot 80 degree 80 degree we can write 90 minus 10 degree divided by 
tan of 10 degree okay so 2 into tan 90 minus theta cot theta that is a tan 90 minus 37 degree cot 37 degree divided by this cot 37 degree as it is minus cot 90 minus 10 degree that is a tan 10 degree upon tan 10 degree okay so cot 37 will get cancelled here 2 remain minus tan 10 and this tan 10 cancel 1 remain so 2 minus 1 is 1 okay now we will take next example second example is prove that in that first one is sin 35 degree into sin 55 degree minus cos 35 degree into cos 55 degree is equal to 0 okay now here 35 degree and 55 degree these two are complementary angles okay so in this one i am taking first lhs lhs is equal to sin 35 degree into sin 55 degree minus cos 35 degree into cos 55 degree okay so in this uh, example we have to change here sin 35 degree into sin 55 degree so either change this sin 35 degree or sin 55 degree same here okay so here i am changing this one sin 35 degree so this sign 35 we can write 90 minus 55 so this 35 i am writing 90 minus 55 degree into this sign 55 degree as it is minus again cos 35 degree i am changing this one cos 90 minus 55 degree and this cos 55 degree as it is okay now sin 90 minus theta that is a cos theta so it is cos 55 degree minus sorry into sin 55 degree as it is minus cos 90 minus theta that is a sin theta so this sin 55 degree into this cos 55 degree as it is now see these terms sin 55 into cos 55 minus sin 55 into cos 55 so these two terms are same so subtraction of these two terms is 0 that is equal to RHS okay similarly we have to solve this one LHS is equal to cos 70 degree upon sin 20 degree plus cos 59 degree upon sin 31 degree uh, minus 8 sin square 30 degree okay so cos 70 degree now here again same change either cos or sin so this cos 70 degree we can write 90 minus 20 degree upon sin 20 degree keep as it is plus 59 degree and 31 degree these two are complementary angles so cos 90 minus 59 degree we can write 90 minus 31 degree divided by sin 31 degree as it is minus 8 sin square 30 degree sin square 30 degree now we know that value of sin 30 so sin 30 value is 1 by 2 but here square is there so 1 by 2 square here reason is sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2 okay now cos 90 minus 20 degree cos 90 minus theta sin theta so sin 20 degree divided by this sin 20 degree as it is plus cos 90 minus theta sin 31 degree upon sin 31 degree minus 8 into 1 by 2 square is a 1 by 4 so here this sin 20 upon sin 20 1 sin 31 upon sin 31 so this value is 1 minus 4 2 are 8 so this 2 remain 1 plus 1 2 2 minus 2 that is a 0 so it is equal to rhs okay now we will take next example a third example is express each of the following in terms of trigonometric ratios of angles 
between 0 degree and 45 degree okay so here angles are given 85 degree 85 degree so this angles or this trigonometric ratios we have to express in terms of another I mean, uh, another trigonometric ratios and angles between 0 degree and 45 degree so this trigonometric ratios we have to express in angles 0 degree and 45 degree okay so sin 85 degree here we know that 85 degree and 5 degree these are complementary angles okay so this sin 85 degree 85 we can write 90 degree minus 5 degree plus cosec 85 degree this one again 90 degree minus 5 degree okay so sin 90 minus theta that is a cos theta so cos 5 degree plus cosec 90 minus theta that is a sec theta so it is a sec 5 degree okay so here this sin 85 degree plus cosec 85 degree we express in this ratio cos 5 degree plus sec 5 degree and here angle is in between 0 degree and 45 degree okay so similarly we have to express other two okay now here tan 68 how we write we know that 68 degree and 22 degree these are complementary angles so tan 90 minus 22 degree plus sec 68 we can write 90 minus 22 degree okay now tan 90 minus theta cot theta so we have cot 22 degree plus sec 90 minus theta cosec theta so cosec 22 degree okay now these angles are in 0 degree and 45 degree okay similarly third one sin 81 degree now 81 degree and 9 degree these are complementary angles so sin 81 we can write 90 degree minus 9 degree plus tan 81 degree 90 degree minus 9 degree okay so sin 90 minus theta that is a cos theta so cos 9, 9 degree tan 90 minus theta cot theta so that is a cot 9 degree okay now here these angles are in between 0 degree and 45 degree okay so only we have to express these trigonometric ratios okay in angles between 0 and degree and 45 degree so here 85 degree 85 degree this trigonometric ratio we express in cos 5 degree and sec 5 degree okay 5 degrees in between 0 degree and 45 degree similarly tan 68 sec 68 this only we have to express in cot 22 degree cosec 22 degree because angles here in between 0 degree and 45 degree okay similarly third one okay now we will take fourth example next example is if sec 4a is equal to cosec of a minus 20 degree where 4a is an acute angle find a okay so this type of examples we solve like this way suppose sec 4a is equal to cosec of a minus 20 degrees given so this sec 4a we can convert in cosec okay so how we convert sec 90 minus theta we know that it is a cosec theta okay so here we start from this what is given sec 4a is equal to cosec a minus 20 degree okay now sec theta suppose 4a is a theta here so sec theta we know that it is a cosec 90 minus theta okay now here 4a is a theta so this sec 4a we can write cosec 90 minus 4a okay and this cosec a minus 20 keep as it is okay so here we are using sec theta is equal to cosec 90 minus theta okay so cosec 90 minus 4a is equal to cosec a minus 20 degree now these are same trigonometric ratios cosec and here also cosec so what is the meaning of this that is a 90 minus 4a means angles are same 90 minus 4a is equal to a minus 
20 degree. So 90 minus 4a. So plus minus 20 if we shift here, that is a 90 plus 20 degree. 90 degree plus 20 degree is equal to a plus 4a. So 90 plus 20 degree that is a 110 degree. A plus 4a that is a 5a. So a is equal to 110 degree divided by 5. That is a 5 to the 10. 5 to the 10. So a is equal to 22 degree. Okay. So this type of example solve like this way. Sec 4a is equal to cosec of a minus 20 degree. Okay. So change this sec 4a in cosec and then solve. Okay, compare angles 90 minus 4 is equal to a minus 20. Equate angles 90 minus 4 is equal to a minus 20 degree and then find value of a. Okay, now we will take another type of example. This example is if a, b, c are interior angles of triangle a, b, c, then prove that tan of b plus c upon 2 is equal to cot a by 2. Okay, now here we have to use angle sum property of triangle that is we know that a plus b plus c is equal to 180 degree okay now see here this side we want b plus c okay so a shift here so b plus c is equal to 180 degree minus a now again we want divided by 2 so divide each term by 2 so b plus c divided by 2 is equal to 180 degree minus a divided by 2 so b plus c divided by 2 if we separate this to 180 divided by 2 that is a 90 degree minus a by 2 okay now here we want tan this side okay so apply tan on both side okay so if we apply tan both side we have tan of b plus c upon 2 okay this is tan is a function okay so we have to apply this tan function both sides so tan of b plus c upon 2 is equal to tan of 90 degree minus a by 2 okay now tan of b plus c by 2 keep as it is is equal to tan 90 minus theta so tan 90 minus theta that is a cot theta so is equal to cot of a by 2 tan 90 minus theta theta is here a by 2 so that is equal to cot a by 2 okay so we proved here tan of b plus c upon 2 is equal to cot a by 2 okay similarly they can ask for sin of b plus c upon 2 is equal to cos a by 2 or vice versa and sec of b plus c upon 2 is equal to cosec a by 2 okay so this type of examples we can solve in this way okay now we will take another type the next example is if a plus b is equal to 90 degree prove that square root of tan a into tan b plus tan a into cot b upon sin a into sec b minus sin square b by cos square a is equal to tan a okay now we have to start from LHS, okay, now I am rubbing this one, LHS is equal to this, okay, we have to show that it is equal to tan A. So here, A plus B is equal to 90 degree given, okay, so here I am writing B is equal to 90 degree minus A. So where B angle is there, we have to replace it by A or you can change this a we can write 90 minus b also but here in this side we want a angle so b angle we have to replace by a okay so tan a into tan b that is tan 90 minus a plus tan a as it is cot b cot 90 minus a divided by sin a as it is sec b sec 90 minus a minus sin square b 90 minus a 
upon cos square a as it is okay next step tan a into tan 90 minus theta cot theta so that is a cot a plus tan a as it is cot 90 minus theta tan theta so that is a tan a divided by sin a into sec 90 minus theta that is a cosec theta so cosec a minus sin square 90 minus theta so that is a cos square theta so cos square a upon this cos square a okay now tan a into cot a so we know that this tan a and cot a are reciprocal of each other so cot a we can write 1 upon tan a so this cot a we have to replace by 1 upon tan a plus tan a into tan a this is a tan square a divided by sin a as it is cosec a that is a reciprocal of sin a so cosec a we can replace by 1 upon sin a minus cos square a by cos square a is answer is 1 okay next step that is a now here tan a into 1 upon tan a this tan a and this tan a cancel so what is remain 1 plus tan square a divided by this sin a and this sin a cancel so 1 remain minus 1 so what is remain 1 plus tan square a minus 1 so this plus 1 minus 1 will get cancel square root of tan square a so square root of tan square a that is a tan a okay so here tan a is a rhs so we proved here this expression is equal to tan a okay now we will take next example next question is evaluate cos of 40 minus theta minus sine of 50 plus theta plus cos square 40 plus cos square 50 upon sin square 40 plus sin square 50 okay now see here this 40 minus theta if we observe this 40 minus theta degree and 50 plus theta these two are complementary angles because sum of these two angles 40 minus theta and 50 plus theta this is 90 degree if we find sum 40 plus 50 90 minus theta plus theta will get cancelled okay so 40 minus theta and 50 plus theta these are complementary angles okay so from both of this uh, one i either change cos 40 minus theta or sin 50 plus theta okay so here i am changing cos of 40 minus theta so this 40 minus theta and 50 plus theta are complementary angles so this 40 minus theta we can write 90 degree minus 50 plus theta okay we can check this also 90 minus 50 40 and this minus theta so cos 40 minus theta we can write in this term okay 90 minus 50 plus theta minus sin of 50 plus theta as it is plus again cos square 40 degree as it is cos square 50 degree now this 50 degree we can write cos square 90 minus 40 degree okay divided by same sin square 40 degree as it is this sin square 50 degree sin square 90 minus 50 we can write 90 minus 40 degree okay so what is next step cos 90 minus now total this is theta okay again don't simplify this we have to replace 40 minus theta in 90 minus 50 plus theta okay now cos 90 minus theta this we can write sin 50 plus theta minus this sin 50 plus theta as it is plus cos square 40 degree as it is cos square 90 minus theta sin theta that is sin square 40 degree 
upon this sin square 40 degree as it is and sin square 90 minus theta cos square theta so cos square 40 degree okay now these two terms are same so subtraction of these two term is 0 plus cos square 40 plus sin square 40 cos square 40 plus sin square 40 so these two terms are same so this will get cancelled total terms so 0 plus 1 remain that is a 1 so value of this expression is a 1 okay so in this example main thing is replace this cos 40 minus theta okay by cos of 90 minus 50 plus theta and cos 90 minus theta is a sin theta okay so here 40 minus theta and 50 plus theta these two are complementary angles so 40 minus theta we have to replace by 90 minus 50 plus theta okay so sine of 50 plus theta minus this as it is and this will uh, this will come answer is 1 so 0 plus 1 is 1 okay now we will take last one okay this is another another type of examples prove that tan 1 degree into tan 2 degree into tan 3 degree up to tan 89 degree is equal to 1 okay now we simplify this if we take this tan LHS that is a tan 1 degree multiplication of this and tan 1 into tan 2 into tan 3 up to tan 89 degree so multiplication of this all trigonometric ratios we have to show that it is a 1 okay now this tan 1 degree now 1 degree we can write 90 degree minus 89 degree okay this 1 degree we can write 90 degree minus 89 degree similarly this 2 degree we can write 90 degree minus 88 degree 3 degree we can write 90 degree minus 87 degree and so on and last here this tan 89 as it is then before that this tan 88 is there okay or tan 87 is there and so on okay now this tan 90 minus 89 tan 90 minus theta that is a cot theta so cot 89 degree into cot 88 degree into cot 87 degree into and so on and this as it is tan 87 tan 88 and tan 89 okay now if we take cot 89 and tan 89 together because they are in multiplications so multiplication is a commutative so we can write cot 89 into tan 89 then cot 88 into tan 88 into cot 87 into tan 87 and so on okay now cot 89 this we can write 1 upon tan 89 because cot theta and tan theta they are reciprocal of each other so cot 89 we can write 1 upon tan 89 into tan 89 similarly this cot 88 1 upon tan 88 into this tan 88 as it is okay next 1 upon tan 87 into this tan 87 okay so what is remain everywhere is one remain so 1 into 1 into this one okay and in middle that is a tan 45 remain okay but tan 45 value is a 1 so here multiplication of all this one is 1 okay so RHS is 1 so we get here RHS is 1 okay so this type of example solve like this way okay 1 2 3 we have to replace by 90 minus 89 90 minus 88 90 minus 87 and these values keep as it is tan 87 tan 88 tan 89 okay or vice versa we can change 
we can keep this values as, as it is tan 1 tan 2 tan 3 as it is and this values 87 we can write 90 minus 3 degree 88 90 minus 2 degree 89 90 minus 1 degree then also you will get same expression and answer is a 1 okay so now in next video we will take last point of this lesson that is a trigonometric identities okay